Welcome back guys. I know it's been a few weeks since I uploaded a video, so I wanted to come back with something really special today. So today we're gonna be talking about backups and why it's super important that you have a backup app installed on your Shopify store. Now, most of you might think, wait a minute, it's a SaaS product. Obviously Shopify has backups of all of their software because if they didn't, their business would be over in one outage. But I'm not talking about backing up the software for Shopify. What I am talking about backing up is your personal data. So it's taken a lot of effort for you to put in the description, the images, the configuring Shopify to make sure that it works exactly for your business. You want to protect this information so that if there is a situation where it wouldn't be if Shopify goes down and loses your data, that's not what we're talking about. What we're talking about is whether or not a staff member or someone who's working for you accidentally goes in and makes the wrong change. They go and change a complex system that you've already set up and you have no idea how they made that made made the change in there. So what we want to do is we want to be able to provide you with a backup so in case that this happens it's easy for you to go and restore to your previous version. It also allows you to be more confident when you're rolling something new so that if you do make a mistake or something does happen that you weren't intending it's easy to roll back. So I'm going to hop over to my screen now and I'm going to show you how to install the backup app that we recommend and how to get it going right away. So if we're on my screen and we go to apps. There's a couple ways that we can go and get this app. Now the app that we're going to be installing is called rewind.io. So on my demo store, I've already gone and installed it and I've started doing a backup uh, because it takes a few hours for the first backup to go through, especially on this store where I have a thousand products installed on it. Um, I wanted to get that started before we went and did this video. But here is how you go and add in the, the app. So if you go to the location uh, sunmold.ca slash backup and I'm going to put that location here as well as in the description. It'll take you directly to the page. So let's go and test that out. So if we go to sunbowl.ca slash backup, hit enter, it's going to refer us directly to rewind backup. We can hit the add the app button and it's going to ask us to confirm and put in our Shopify store location. Once we put in our Shopify store location, it's going to ask us to approve the app um, and then it's going to start doing the first backup. Now, once it starts going through the first backup, it's going to take a little while. Now, you can just close this window and leave it as it is because what they're going to do is they're going to send you an email telling you when the backup has been completed. So you're going to get an email. It's going to tell you how many products were backed up. It's going to tell you all your themes, your collections, your navigations that sort of thing. So once that is finished, and then I'm going to go and show you how to restore it. Okay, now that that's finished, now I'm going to show you guys how to restore a backup. So if you want to go into the dashboard and you want to start off by going to apps, we're going to scroll down until we get to the rewind.io backups for Shopify app. We're going to click into that and we're going to go into the app. Now this app is really easy to use. It's super simple and it's super straightforward. So what we can do is we can go into the rewind vault and we can restore our products either one at a time. So if we made an error on a single product, we can restore that product or we can restore the entire store if that's something that we're looking to do. So let's go into the vault and then we can select a product. So we're going to select a product. And because we're currently um, processing it, there's going to be a number of products in here that are going to slowly uh, filter in as we go, but we can still restore a product right away. So we're going to go to Soho Python handbag. We're going to go to the versions. We can see the exact version of the product that uh, we want to be able to restore. We're going to get uh, arrows on right and left hand sides once we have multiple backups. So Rewind is only going to show you versions if something has changed. So on this current demo store that we have, nothing has changed since we first took the backup. If there was different versions of a change, you would get arrows on the side which would allow you to select the one that you want. Now I can hit rewind product. It will come up and it will give me a warning whether or not I want to rewind it. I hit yes, it will process it and then it will restore your product. So now you're very easily able to go and do it. Um, 
So this is that's a basic overview of how you install the Rewind Backup. Now there is one other piece that I want to show you is if you want to go and restore your entire store. Now I'm still backing up this current one, um, but when it's finished, I can go in and I can restore the entire store. So that's everything from themes to collections to menus, the whole snapshot of what your, your website looks like, I can go and I can restore that. And so if you're about to do a huge rollout or you're going to be updating um, information um, on a wide scale and doing a bunch of changes and you want to make sure that if you mess it up, you can go back, you can get enter the store, rewind and rewind the whole thing back to the beginning. So that's a basic overview of what I have for you guys today. I hope this is super helpful. Remember, you do need to back up all your stuff, even if you're on a SaaS service. That information that you have created over the years of working on your store is invaluable, and you don't want to accidentally delete it because you clicked on the wrong button. That's all for me today. I hope you guys are having a great week, and we will catch you in the next one.